welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a prom makeup tutorial for you guys. This is what it looks like. I really love it. I was actually inspired by a makeup look I saw on Pinterest. It's not exact, but I just did my take on it. And it's really pretty. It has this brown in the outer corner. And I did a yellow toned, um, yellow goldish toned lid with um, gold glitter from Makeup Forever and I put on these really pretty lashes and I love the way it came out and I love the lip too. I think it complements the eyes really well and without further ado, if you guys want to find out how to get this look, just keep on watching. I'm going to show you everything I did. So the first step, I'm as per usual going to take my eyeshadow primer. This is by Wet n Wild and I just want to make sure my eyeshadow stays put all day and it doesn't crease. For my all over lid color, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow single in Legend. And this is a really pretty like gold white kind of shade. It's just really pretty to put all over your lid. So I'm just packing that on with a shader brush. I'm going to take peanut butter from the semi-sweet Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I'm just going to use a fluffy crease brush and just apply that back and forth in my crease and also in the outer portion of my eye and I'm just going to blend that color in and just keep blending it. This color is so pigmented so you don't even need to pick up too much of it, it just applies so nicely. I wanted a bit of a transition color so I'm taking Nougat from that same palette and I'm just applying that also in my crease more towards like the middle to the tear duct portion of my crease. From the Semi Sweet palette I'm taking the color Coco Chili and a flat shader brush because I wanted to really pack on this color. I'm just placing this in the outer portion of my eye, also known as the outer V. So just pack that on until you feel like you have enough color on there. And then I'm just going to blend that inward towards my eye so it's nice and blended with the Legend color from Anastasia. And to finish off, I'm going to be taking coconut cream, which is just a matte color from that same palette and a blender brush. And I'm just going to blend out my eyeshadow so there's no harsh lines around the edges and the outer corner. Okay, this is the fun part. We're going to take the Sephora glitter glue and apply that to the legend part of the eyeshadow. I don't go all the way to the end um, where it starts to get darker. So I just keep that concentrated on the first like quarter of my lid. And then I'm going to be taking this Makeup Forever glitter and I'm just going to be applying that on top of the glitter glue. But you want to just wait about 15 to 20 seconds for the glue to get tacky before you apply it so that it sticks. I popped in the Jumbo Pencil Milk from NYX on the tear duct of my eyes to just brighten everything up. Then moving on to eyeliner, I'm using Inglot number 77, my favorite, and I'm just creating a wing and then moving to the inner corner of my eye to finish out that line. Just taking a wet one or baby wipe, I'm cleaning up my under eye in case of any fallout before I apply my foundation so everything's nice and clean. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm using a pencil brush and I'm using the color Coco Chili from the Semi Sweet palette and I'm just applying that to my lower lash line to smoke everything out. After that, I went ahead and applied some false lashes. 
Okay, moving on to the face, I'm using the Milani 2-in-1 Correcting Foundation, and I'm using the color, I believe it's 02, I will leave it down below, and I'm using my Brush IQ Contour Foundation Brush to buff it out, and this really just gives me a great coverage with any liquid foundation that I use, so if I want a lot of coverage, I always use this brush. So I just looked at my bottle. I am actually the lightest color in this foundation. I am 01 Creamy Vanilla, and I really, really love the coverage of the Milani 2-in-1. Um, just make sure that you are setting it with like a powder or something because I do notice I do get oily throughout the day. Um, that goes with really any foundation, but um, yeah, just make sure you're setting it, and then I also like to blot during the day. So one of the things we learn in the Mario Masterclass is to go over after you use your brush with the Beauty Blender to just blend everything out so there's no lines or anything. So I'm just picking up a little bit more of the foundation and just blending that into my skin so everything looks really seamless. Next is under eye concealer. I am taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and this is in fair. I'm just applying that underneath my eyes and I'm going to also go on my forehead, down my nose, and I'm going to do the other side of my face in the triangle shape and the cupid's bow and also on my chin. Then under that, I'm going to take the illuminating version of that concealer and just apply it right under the uh, concealer areas because I just want a little bit something extra and I also put it on my smile lines then I'm taking my beauty blender with some fix plus and I'm just gonna blend everything out in light tapping motions don't press too hard um, because you want the concealer to really just set into your skin you don't want to rub it off um, so just use light tapping motions like I'm doing right here Next is my cream contour. I'm just dotting on the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I will list the color down below for what I used. Um, and I'm also applying that to my chin. And yeah, just try not to apply too much of this. I kind of like to wipe off the brush before I put it on so it's not like an overwhelming amount of product. Then I'm just going to take the other side of my beauty blender and blend out that line. At first it's going to look a little bit scary, but don't worry, once you start to blend it will all just come together and the contour will look really, really nice. Then I'm taking my concealer and I'm just placing that right underneath my contour because I want to have a really nice sharp contour and I want it to stand out. So I'm just going to take this little faux artiste brush that I got from Amazon, which is actually really good, and I'm going to just blend out my concealer into my contour. I'm also going to blend out my forehead contour. I'm going to take my brush and just blend that out. This one can be a little bit more tricky. Just make sure you're blending it into your hairline so it doesn't look weird. Um, and then I like to go over it with my beauty blender to just make sure it's really, really nice and blended.
Next, of course, I want to bake all the areas that I concealed on my face just to make sure everything is set and it doesn't crease and that nothing moves out of place. So I'm just using this CoverGirl powder in the lightest shade. I believe it is fair. And I'm just setting everything with my Beauty Blender because I find that's the easiest to use for baking. I'm also going to set my nose and my forehead, um, my chin, and also right underneath um, that contour where I applied the concealer. So I want to take Hoola from Benefit and I just want to set my cream contour with a powder because I feel like it makes it stand out more and I also think it makes it last longer. So um, I really am loving Hoola lately to do my contour with. I just think it's the perfect shade. So next I'm going to highlight my face. I'm using this highlighter from Wet n Wild. This is called Boozy Brunch. It's such a pretty highlighter. It's one of my favorites right now. You can actually see how pretty it looks when I apply it on camera. And yeah, just apply this right on top of your cheekbones. I like to do this pretty generously, especially if you're going to be taking pictures and stuff for prom. And I'm also applying it on my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. This has to be one of my new favorite blushes. This is Apricot in the Middle from Wet n Wild. It's one of their newer um, formula blushes that they just came out with. And I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheek. And I like to bring it upwards as well. And I just also blend that into my contour so everything looks connected. So my lips get really dry and cracked all year, not even just in the winter. So before I apply any lipstick, I have to exfoliate with my e.l.f. lip exfoliator. So I'm just going to blend it out and then I like to tissue it off so there's no like ickiness or anything on my lips. I'm going to be applying Rock and Rose Lip Liner, and this is by Jordana. Such a pretty lip liner and it's so affordable. I recommend this if you don't have this to pick one up. Um, I think they have it also at Walgreens. So I'm just lining my lips a bit and then I'm going to be taking this color from Lime Crime. This is called Babette. Such a pretty color and I think they might be discontinuing it soon. So make sure you pick this up because it's so, so pretty. And then you... Uh so that is it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you're going to try it out for your prom or if you're just going to wear it to any event. I love the glitter and like the kind of light um, brown crease color. I think it's so pretty for any event. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, make sure you subscribe to see more videos and tutorials like this one. Make sure you follow me on all my social media channels. I'm going to put all the links down below so you guys can check that out. And I will also list everything I use if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!